Hello and welcome to this edition of Wednesday Editions, Big Scott 35, uh, where I have some new stuff for the collection for the PC. Uh, first off is going to be uh, some cards I've been doing uh, on the upper deck. They have uh, packs you can open. I do a free pack. You get a free pack every day. Uh, when I think about it, and then I go over and I did open some wrestling um, because the thought is, is they hold back some stuff for their online stuff. Uh, so I opened up a few packs, and this is what I've gotten so far. I got a couple more that come in. Uh, some things it says pending. Some I, I don't quite understand everything going on there right now, but uh, I got the main event, uh, Brian Danielson. I think it's supposed to be signing down here in uh, in Winston Salem in November at a show, so I'm hoping to uh, get pick up that this gold of Daniel Garcia. Uh, this purple um, of Hangman Adam Page. It is numbered. Let's see if we can't get the number. 77I199. And I do pick up some Adam, uh, some Hangman page. I got a couple. I don't have many figures. I sold all my figures, but I have a couple of him and Undertaker. Uh, he's, he's from uh, Virginia, so. And I collect Virginia players. And then a gold of Andrade. Mr. Rick Flair. I mean, Mr. Uh, Charlotte Flair there. Uh, next is going to be uh, tops.com. So this is tops now. Uh, every once in a while, when I see Mets do <laughs> not having a big season, but this is uh, for uh, Pete Alonzo's 45 base one, and I also received a purple out of. I think it's 25 yeah 202 at out of 25 so happy to get both of those to add to the collection uh alvarez breaking uh catchers home run record uh this here is uh ronnie Mauricio uh call up but that day was also Austin Wells and uh, Jason Dominguez. So big day for call-ups in New York. And this is his actual first card call-up. He ripped a double. And he hit a liner. He just hit his first turn run. I didn't look. I'm sure they made a card for it. I didn't really look. Uh, I'll try to get... You know, stuff like that. But I, I, I don't think about it all the time. Nolan Gorman. Uh, Future Stars. These are uh, uh, Throwback Thursday cards. Of course, it's the 89 look to them. Uh, this is the reason why I got this set of three. Cody Singa. Who I, it's just, I mean, just think he's awesome. One of our best pitchers we've had in a long time. Uh, Yoshida. Who uh, I think is pretty darn good himself. Then this next set of three, uh, Adley Rushman. Which you would have thought that's the reason why I would have got this set. Spencer Steer and Francisco Alvarez. So some couple of very good catchers there. Uh, next is going to be um, Mike O's um, for Mike O. Uh, LLC, as we like to call it. Uh, but, uh, so he's been opening up quite a few boxes. Uh, so I, I've been picking up some singles from him. Uh, Mark Ventos, this is Cosmic Cosmos or what up, Cosmic Chrome. Uh, Pete Alonzo. Brett Beatty. Francisco Alvarez, I 
really do like that. I don't know if you needed to make a whole thing. Inserts would have been okay. Cody Singa. Uh, this one's pretty cool. Insert Star Clusters. Uh, it's Beatty Alvarez Alonzo. Uh, I'm sure when he made this, Beatty was doing pretty well, but probably would have rather had like McNeil or Lindor. Especially Lindor. Is he a great year? Extraterrestrial Talent. Cody Singa. Pretty cool. Insert. Then these are going to be Pristine's. Way out of my price range. I think this was a highly overrated product. Uh, overpriced. Francisco Alvarez. Love the product. Just think it's way overpriced. Uh, David Wright. Beautiful David Wright. And then this uh, Brett Beatty insert. Don't know what it's called. Beautiful card. And then this last two are kind of left for the last because these are my last two eBay purchases that I've done. And uh, probably, and I've had these sitting over here for a while. Um, got a rookie of a 582 collection that I didn't have. A Pete. Just kind of taking a break from online, just doing... Uh, you know, when uh, Mike opens up new stuff, we probably like some Allen and Ginter, bought some Allen and Ginter from him. Uh, so nothing that's going to crush me. And this one here was a Pete Alonzo auto uh, for the pristine collection. A um, little plain patch there. Uh, I think I, this was $50 shipped. And this was just thrown into a bubble mailer just like this. Wasn't folded over, made tight. Nothing, just a bubble wrap, bubble holder, no bubble wrap, just thrown in there, just like that. Uh, glad it got to me. Uh, wasn't too happy about that. But that's my uh, probably going to be my last purchase on eBay or online for uh, the rest of this year, I would think. Uh, not this Saturday, but next Saturday, I am going to a local card show. Um, supposed to be pretty big. I don't know if there's anything going on this weekend. I've been working weekends uh, just to uh, get ahead and start saving up for next national, to be honest. Uh, so that way I can uh, make some pretty good purchases. <laughs> but that is it for today uh, for pickups. Any questions down below? Uh, you know, every once in a while, I just kind of, last year in November, I took November off. Uh, a baseball collector, he's been doing that. And I was like, maybe maybe I should do that. And then I, it slowed me down for December in the first part of last year. Because after the national, I, I, send to, I tend to be in a purchasing mind. And they need to really reset and uh it's not so much what i'm doing this time i just started looking at everything i need to get stuff straight i need to get uh things uh i need to start uh putting stuff out on my sale groups i need to really start doing other things with my collection instead of constantly adding cards to it and uh and just taking a taking a moment to smell the flowers, if you want to say. So uh, let me know how you're collecting and, and what's going on in your hobby world. And until next time, like, share, tell a friend. Welcome to my new subscribers. Uh, and we'll see ya.